third graders. So we're working on some math today. I've got this worksheet here called Fractions Revisited. If you don't have yours, go grab it. Push pause. So the directions at the top say, fill in the bubble. Oh, there's some bubble. Oh, wait, it's backwards for me. Bubbles. Fill in the bubble next to the fraction that shows how much of each shape is filled in. So filled in, like colored in, the gray part. Let's look at the example first. What fraction is filled in? So now we know that a fraction is a part of a whole, right? So the whole in this example, yeah, is the whole square, right? I'm gonna just outline that a minute. So that's my whole. Okay, so this side over here is filled in, right? It's a little bit darker. So would that be one half of the whole shape filled in? Or would that be one third? Are there three parts? Or one one fourth? You're right. It would be one one half is filled in. There's another one half. One one half. Not two one-halves, but one one-half. Let's look at another one. Mm, let's, look at, let's look at this one down here. Okay, so the whole, I'm going to just outline the whole. How many parts is that whole divided into? Equal parts. Three equal parts. And how much of it is shaded in? All three parts? So would that be one third of it shaded in? Two thirds? Or three thirds? Yeah, three one third pieces are shaded in. So if I were to label those, it would look something like this. One one third, another one third, and another one third. And there are all three filled in on that one. So I would color in the dot with three one-third pieces. Okay, let's move down to the bottom where it says follow the instructions to color the array below. Point to the array. Yup, there it is. Let's label the dimensions on the array. Can you help me? So what dimension would I put over on this side? Yep, four, because there's one, two, three, four. Now, what dimension would I put on this side of the array? I'm trying to hold real still for you. Oh yeah, okay, but So we know that an array can help us with multiplication, don't we? This isn't asking us about multiplication, but it can help us, okay? So we wanna figure out, just like this guy here, the whole, right? How many parts are in the whole? So let's look. We know that five, or four groups of five, I'd rather count by fives than fours, four groups of five, so we've got five, 10, 15, 20, so there's 20 in the whole. So the first directions here say color half the squares in the array red. So can I divide this array, the whole, into half, this way? Not really, because there's three and two. That wouldn't be half. Because I'm gonna look back at this guy where my whole is divided into half. I can't really divide it this way, okay? But I look here, I have four going down. I can divide four in half like this. So I would want to color in half my squares red like it says. And then one fourth of the squares blue and the rest of the squares green. When you finish, will you take a picture and send it to your teacher so we can see your awesome work? All right, see you next time.